Good morning, everyone. It's Penelope. How are you? Well, I have Thor here, and Thor is really, really mad at me. He's already taken a swipe at me because the topic today is hitting home with him. And he's really upset at me. So is the other one, but she's just a whiner. Okay. See what I mean? He took another swipe at me. He's mad. He's really mad at me. But I'm going to tell you why. But I'll tell you why in just a minute. Okay. So, my topic today is frugal living. And my question to you is, what does it mean to you? When you say, I live frugally, what does it mean to you? Well, for me, and it is a personal question, to me it means I'm saving more than I spend, and I spend only on what I need. People say, yeah, but you spend money on couponing hauls, and you spend all... Okay, let me explain something to you. I do couponing hauls, and I mass a lot of product. I don't spend that much on it, and then I resell it. The girls at work love the deals they get, and I do a flea market in September, and that's when I take most of my product up and I sell. Now, I do donations, but I do make back what I spend and more. I make a profit with my couponing. If you don't like that, then all I can say is maybe it's not for you. But I'm not going to judge you on what you do. So I don't like being judged on that. That really makes me angry because the girls at work get an absolute fantastic deal on the products they get. When I go to the flea market, people come to my booth and they're ecstatic at the prices they're getting. There you go. I had to have a side hustle. Because if I was just couponing and accumulating stuff and it never went anywhere, my house would look like a hoarder's house, which I'm not going to say it doesn't. Because there are some places where there's totes and my husband gets very upset. But anyway, living frugally. Now, as far as the household things that we need, we obviously need groceries. So if I keep my budget to $25 a week on groceries and I utilize what's in my freezer and I utilize what's in my pantry, I'm doing really, really good. And $25, I know people that spend that every two days on fast food. Are you kidding me? A fast food meal can sometimes be $10. If you're doing that two times a week, that's not even your home meals. I'm afraid I'm going to get attacked. That's why I'm kind of nervous with him being up here, and I'll tell you in a minute. So anyway, eating out of your pantries and your storage. Uh, he's really making me nervous. Um, now, how do you evaluate the rest of your household goods? We are, I've already been showing you how I do my $25 a week grocery hauls, and it's real effective. Because if you're only buying for seven days at a time, it works. Now... Here's the thing. What do you use or need every single day? Now, first of all, if you're driving to work, you're going to need gas in your car every single day. Okay? <laughs> Toilet paper, you need it every single day. Um, if you're doing your dishes every day, you're going to need dish liquid, right? So you find it on sale, you find it at its cheapest point, and you get two or three of them. So that way you always have it on hand. You're always doing your laundry. You know, paper towels here are everyday occurrence. What about pet needs? He needs litter every day, and he needs food every day. And now let me tell you why he's mad at me. Because I have a stockpile of um, cat food that I have accumulated through coupons. And we're talking name brand stuff, but they're not liking it because it's not the brand name that they like the best. Guess what? <laughs> he is no longer on strike, but the other one still is. But your pets need supplies every single day. I drink coffee every 
single day. I use deodorant every single day, body wash every single day, shampoo and conditioner every other day, except for in summer, I wash it every day. So, those things that you need every single day are the things that you want to focus on when they're on sale so that you can stock up on them. So that way, on the very lean weeks, you don't have to buy them. It's just a suggestion to make a list of the things that you eat, drink, and utilize every single day in your household. Just saying. Now, this week, I have two large purchases. Number one, something for my daughter, um, who is getting married in May. I am so excited. Um, I won't be at the wedding, so I want to make a presentation to her before the wedding that's fan fantastic. Um, it is going to be a personal event, and so I will not be taping her opening this gift. There will be other gifts that I will present with her and probably take her and her fiancé out to dinner. But this gift is going to be very important, and it's going to be so personable that, I, that I, I'm just so ecstatic about it. So, that's a big purchase for me. Second big purchase this week is clothing. I have scoured Goodwill. There is one um, secondhand store I've been to, and then a called Label Shoppers, where everything is like really cheap. Um, and apparently, there's name brands, which I would never know what a name brand product is. So, I know that. Goodwill has some of their clothing, gray tagged, which will be 99 cents. I will stop in, go through really quickly, see if there's anything there. Then I will go to the second hand store where everything is going to be 50% off tomorrow. There is a pair of shoes and they are the right size. They're leather and <laughs> I'm going to end up getting them for right around a little less than $3. So that's a good purchase. And then there were some clothing items that I kind of looked through. So tomorrow before work, I will go and buy clothing. So that's going to be a big purchase for me. So clothing and that. So I have to keep my grocery budget to $25. Now, people are like, some people who might watch this who don't know that you can shop for $25 to feed your family for seven days would say, Oh my God, $25? You can't get food for that. Oh yeah, you can. And I'm going to try to keep my budget really low starting next month. Next month, I am going to be on a very meager um, budget because I need to buy fencing. I need to get all of my goat stuff ready, my chicken stuff ready. Chicken should be here within the next few days. I'm so excited. So anyway, what does frugal living mean to you? And I think that it does mean certain things to certain people. But saving more than I spend and spend only on what I need. So make your list of what you actually use and need every single day. Then make a list of the things that you need that you just haven't gotten yet. And when you save money on certain things, put that money towards those things that you need that you just haven't gotten yet. Like clothing. I've needed clothing for a while. So you all have a great day, and just remember, be kind. Don't stir the pot when you're in a group of people. Don't try to be nasty. Don't judge other people. And just be yourself. You all have a great day. Bye.